And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Colorado Rockies. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. Today's starter for Colorado, Noah Davis. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys will get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Batting second. Here's Austin Riley. Austin Riley. One and two here. Ball. Two balls, two strikes. And that's the strikeout looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Here's Marcelo Zuna at the belt and fires. And that's off the inside edge. Three and one. Man at first, one away. And there's ball four. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Two on, one out. Oh, great stop from his knees. The throw. There's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Back here at Coors Field. And towing the slab, Max Free. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Here's Jake Cave now. And that's in for a strike. Just oh, off the, the inside corner, and the count's even at two. Go Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. 
Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. for a base hit and that extends the inning oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one couldn't get any air under it but he smoked that ball back up the middle timing was just perfect got great wood on it and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it and now they've got some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion free keeping an eye on him if it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. Runner on the go. Swing and a miss. Go to second. See. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang bang play. Statcast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Two outs and one in scoring position. There's a swing and a drive. That's going back. Back some more. Tattooed and gone. Ryan McMahon leaves the yard. And they add a pair. It's 2-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Base is empty with two away. Jacob Stalling digs in now. Hard hit right side. Gets it to first. They get the out on Stallings. And that is the inning. But the Rocks bring in two on this big fly. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back after this on the show. And we're back. Here's Orlando Arcia. The shortstop. Orlando Arcia. And he deals. Good and one. another ball. Ball that three. one misses. And that's ball three. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. But Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit. But overall, well-respected umpire in the league. The pitch. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Here's Eddie Rosario. Kicks and fires. That one is absolutely belted back there. And he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a homer that time. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play. And it's a lot easier to watch from up here because... That can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. That'll fire up the dugout. His seventh home run of the season, and they're on the board. It's 2-1. Well, 
Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. So two away with nobody on. Here's Jared Kelnick. Two outs. Gloves it on the dive to first. And they get the out. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. Bottom of the second. And now Michael Tolia. The first baseman. Michael Tolia. And it is two and one. And now the lefty. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it goes just foul. Kicks Indians. Liner, base hit. He was all over that one. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Hunter Goodman getting ready to hit. The 1-1. And another ball. Tolia aboard here at first with nobody out. Snap throw to first. And he's back safely. And the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. So in now for Colorado, Sam Hilliard. Here comes a pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. Left hand batter waits. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Left hand hitter waits. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Caught him looking for the K. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance. Runner takes off. Strike in there. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. All set for the start of the inning with Merrifield up to the plate. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. McMahon fires over to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Now batting, right fielder, Jorge Soler. Jorge Soler up at the plate.
One out, base is empty. Late that time, it's strike two. Yeah, that's downstairs and outside. One down, base is empty. That's to third. Sends it to Tolia. Two up, two down. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. The pitch. That's inside. The Rockies up by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. There's a strike. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Down in order, go the Braves. And our score remains 2 1. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Aaron Schunk. The line of the pitch. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Grabs it on the run. One down. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Back to the top of the lineup. Next for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. And there's a foul ball. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The pitch. The shortstop takes a ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Three and two. That one down the line and foul ball. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Got a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. That one missing inside. Next offering is downstairs. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. 3-1 is on the way. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. At the belt and fires. On the ground, out to short. And that one finds its way through. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball go deep. And now the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike.
swings and misses, and there's two away. Oh, that was perfect execution of that curveball. Down and in, he gets it out of the danger zone, and you really can't do it much better than that. It's in the zone the entire way, so you have to swing as a hitter, but then it just falls off the table and almost hits you in the back foot. So first and second with two outs. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Ball to strike. Right side. And that's just foul. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. This looks like extra bases. One run is in. Headed for the plate. He'll score. Two runs are in. And they're up by three. Nicely done. Brings home two. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Jacob Stallings now. Comes up empty. That's strike two. pitch and that one hammered coming going back to the warning track makes the catch but they'll pick up a couple runs here both coming on this two-run double it's now a 4-1 ball game you're watching major league baseball on the show Back here in Denver, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Marcelo Zuna. Rip to short. Fires across the diamond. And a quick out number one. Up next for Atlanta, the first baseman, Matt Olson. Here is Matt Olson. The Braves trailing by three. Top half of inning number four. Right through there for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. On the ground. To first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Orlando Arcia will hit next. Two down, nobody on. And that's outside. Two and one. And that one is inside. And he walked it. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um... I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Yeah, the righty deals. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Way back there. Forget it. A gigantic blast. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 4-3. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Oh, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boo. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like he was gonna bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets to jog around the bases. Good for him. Here's Sean Murphy. Swing and a miss, and that's strike One two.
One, two now. Swing and a base hit. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. I love that swing, and I'm sure his hitting coach does even more. Took a pitch right on the low outside corner of the zone and just ripped it for a base hit. And that's easier said than done. Next to hit, Jared Kelman. Next offering is foul back. Two outs. Popped in the air. Left field. Hilliard drifts towards it. Brings it in for the third out. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 4-3 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at Coors Field, here's Michael Tolia. The first baseman, Michael Tolia. Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs and in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Two, two on the way. Called strike three of the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. That was just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. So up next, Hunter Goodman. One down, base is empty. Both. Three and one. Fought off foul. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Stays alive. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. And he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. Up next to Colorado. Next to him for the Rockies, Sam Hilliard. Hilliard. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Rockies, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. And we're back. Now it's the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. Up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. On target. He got him. Nice play. Just an outstanding play going up the middle right there. And the exchange to get the throw off to first. Just shows you why he's one of the best shortstops around. So smooth yet so quick at the same time. And any slower, and those wheels burning down the first baseline are going to turn that into an infield hit. And now, Jorge Soler. The 1 1 is fouled off. The Braves trailing by a run, and we're at the top of the fifth. Hey! And a swing and a miss. And the first two set down in the top of the field. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Austin Riley now at the plate. Next offering is foul back. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Right-hander kicks, deals. Line drive, base hit. 
And that keeps the inning going. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. And here is Marcelo Zuna. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So two down. Here's Matt Olson. Olsen swings and drives it deep to right. That one hops against the fence. Now a relay to second, and he's in there. A run comes in on the play. Big RBI for him right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Bud Black towards the mound, and we're going to see a pitching change here. Noah Davis out of the game, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. Cal Quantrill on a pitch out of the pen here. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Now it's the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. The pitch. And fouled off. Ozuna on third. Olsen on at second with two down. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. One runs in. The throw in. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves five and the Rockies four. Bottom of the inning. So in now for Colorado, Aaron Schunk. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. So the lineup flips over. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ezekiel Tovar. He's got a rare skill set out there on the mound. Even when he's low on energy, his stuff still has bite to it. You just don't see it flattening out just because he's tired. He's still delivering good action. Bounce to the left side. And it gets by him. Now right here. Brian Snicker out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Max Freed will give way, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Spencer Schwellenbach into the game. He's been so good against lefties. One gone runner at first. Now it's the right fielder, Jake Cave. The Rockies down by a run. Last half of inning number five. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of the double play right here. 
gets a piece and stays alive. Fouls it off, still one and two. Right handed reliever. Outside low, two and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. That one lifted to left. And it stays fair. Toba rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score and they tell it. Five five now. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. One down. Next for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Fights that one away, still one and two. One out and a runner at second. Got him. Two gone. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. The 1-1. One, one. And that one fouled off. Man on second, two down. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Around third. Here's the throw. He will score. The Rockies tip the lead. Six to five. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. And now Jacob Stallings. Swings through that one. One and two. McMahon leads off first with two down to the inning. Foul ball still a one and two count. That's out to center field. Should have this one. And he makes the catch. That is the inning. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. We're through five. It's the Rocky six and the Braves five. back to work swing and a miss and he struck him out now one gone in the top of the sixth that's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across especially in terms of movement I mean that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment if he keeps it down it's just so tough to put wood on so here's Murphy now fouled off down the right side Bases empty, one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. On the ground to third. Zips it to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. The center fielder, number 24, Jared Kellner. Jared Kellner, the next to hit. Mm -hmm. 
two down, nobody on. And that clips the inside corner. One ball, two straight. On the ground at first. He takes it on his own. And it's a one, two, three inning for the Braves. Nothing across here this half. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Rockies six and the Braves five. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The Leading off, Michael Tolio. Michael Tolio. And here it comes. No. And now two balls and a strike. But all these Rockies really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They keep finding themselves behind in the count, but it really hasn't mattered in this one. Seven of their hits have come in disadvantaged counts, and I think that helps create a mental advantage for this team. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. I say that about the mental edge because on the mound, it's extremely frustrating to not be able to put hitters Great away, ball. and that's exactly what we've seen here. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Right side, hard hit. Throws the first in time. So it was a long battle at the plate, but they still managed to get the out. Here's the catcher, Hunter Goodman. One down, base is empty. That one's in there. Two and two. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting Jim. High fly ball out towards left field. And it's off the foul pole for a home run. He'll touch them all. And they boost their lead. It's 7-5. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. Now a chance for Sam Hilliard. On yeah. the outside corner, that's strike two. One out, base is empty, and a run in here in the bottom of the sixth. On the ground to short, Arcia throws the first in time. Had to make a perfect play right there after that nice backhand stop, and he did. He couldn't have transferred the ball from his glove to his hand any better than he did. Just an excellent release. Two outs, space is empty. Aaron Schunk getting ready to hit. That one close, ruled a ball. One, two, two and one. Righty delivers. Swing it a foul straight back. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that'll do it. The Rockies tack on another with this one, and it's 7-5. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Denver, we go to the top of the seventh. Now here is Whit Merrifield. Kicks and fires. And that one is lifted in the air. K under it. And it's caught for the out. Now that right fielder. Jorge Back to the leadoff spot Soler. in the Braves lineup. Jorge Soler will hit next. 
The Rockies up by two here in the top half of inning number seven. That one missed. Activity in the bullpen. John Curtis getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Bodnick warming up as well. And he deals. On the ground right side. And he picks it up in foul territory. One down base is empty. Ground ball left side. Throws the first in time. Austin Riley now at the plate. And a 1 1. And it's fouled away. Quattro ahead, 1 and 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Right into the plate. And there's a ball. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a three up, three down inning. And the Braves go down quietly. They're down two, seven to five. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the Rockies' leadoff hitter, Ezekiel Tovar. And the pitch. Try to punt his way on. Slings to first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Perhaps he rushed just a little bit, didn't set the angle as the infield was back right there, and that's pretty much a gimme for a bunt base hit. Just didn't quite put it where he wanted to right there. Here comes the pitch. That one at the knees for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Left hand batter waits. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Now at the plate, Brenton Doyle. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Close one doesn't get the call, and that's ball two. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from at bat to at bat. That one fouled off two and two. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. And he chases that one. And there's two down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ryan McMahon. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Berg, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. Left-hand hitter waits. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can oh. lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Good eye right there. And ball four to a board. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Joe Jimenez gets the call from the pen. He's thrown the ball very well overall this season. He's been really tough to get to. You see that ERA, and that's where you love to be. 
And now the DH, Jacob Stallings. Two on, two outs. Swing and a foul straight back. Center for a line drive base hit. Kate around third. He'll score easily. And they take a three run lead. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. And that's a pure stroke. So two on with two away. Michael Tolia digging in for the Rockies. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Rockies eight and the Braves five. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. John Curtis. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Marcelo Zuna digs in now. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. And the pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The punch out there. And there's one away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Matt Olson up to the plate. And a pitch. And another ball. Two and one. This one in the air. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, puts it away for the out. The bat, number 11, shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Orlando Arcia, the next to hit. And that's off the inside edge. And a count two and one. Up the middle. Sends it to Tolia. And it's a one, two, three inning. Braves go down quickly here. Still looking up at an eight, five deficit. Back here at Coors here Field, and now the catcher comes up to him. The Hunter catcher. Goodman. Hunter Goodman. Ball to strike. The pitch. Oh. That one missed. Two and two. Oh. 
swing and a miss struck him out leadoff man is out here in the eighth no need to deviate from the slider right there the hitter just not making the adjustment he came at him with the breaking ball pitch after pitch and that at bat and evidently there was no answer for it. Swing and a miss. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Got it by him for the K. Third time he struck out in this one and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Throwing the ball well, and they need this scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping them in striking distance. The one two swings through that, and it's a strikeout. It's a one two three inning for the Rockies. One two three go the Rockies. They're on top by three. A five. New pitcher coming on, the veteran, Tyler Kinley. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Now in for the Braves, Eddie Rosario. The pitch. Out to short, Tovar. The throw to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Well, when we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand, the way it comes out of his hand as an infielder, wow, really impressive. He's two outs away. Sean Murphy next up for the Braves. Kicks and deals. And now two and one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one for strike two. So now a pinch hitter for the catcher, Travis Darno. This is a tough task. Coming in cold off the bench and in the middle of an at-bat, man, you're just never anticipating that. The pitch. That's, That's down the and in. Okay. Payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. 